This tutorial is for second grade, module three, lesson five. In this lesson, we're going to use place value properties and number bonds to look at larger numbers. The directions say use number bonds to show the hundreds, tens, and ones in the number your teacher says. For example, if the teacher says the number 243, the students would write that number in the middle of the number bond. Now in the three parts that make up 243, we're going to show the value of each number in each place value spot. For example, the 2 in 243 represents two hundreds. So we'll write that as one of the parts of the number bond. The 4 represents 40 because it's four tens. And the 3 represents 3 because it is three ones. Here's another example. If the teacher this time said 605, we would write that in the middle of the number bond. The 6 has a value of 600 because it is in the hundreds place. The 0 has a value of 0, and that's referring to 0 tens. And the 5 has a value of 5 ones. The purpose is to show the students that these individual digits have a value compared to the place value in which they sit. And we use the number bond to emphasize the part-whole relationship of a number bond. The whole is in the center, and if you combine each part, it would create that number that's in the whole.